Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I will demonstrate how ClickSense helps your sales teams get insight into their performance, discover accounts and opportunities requiring attention, and act on customer feedback to shorten sales cycles. Let's take a deeper look into how ClickSense helps drive the sales process within Salesforce.com. When I log in, I see the same visualizations as my manager, but I can only view the data related to me. It's the latter part of the third quarter, and so far the quarter has been a bit of a challenge. I've closed 38% of my quota for the quarter, but for the year I'm at 29%. Observing the bar chart, I can see that I have 37,000 committed for Q3, and best case opportunities that could get me to 100,000 for the quarter. Unfortunately, I'm still light. The good news is, I have a very rich pipeline. I review the heat map and notice I have many opportunities in early stages with a close date in September. If I can convert some of these opportunities, I'll be in good shape. But how can I identify the best ones to pull forward? To assess current quota needs, I use the Adjust Pipe slider to analyze the additional pipeline required to close the gap in my quota for the quarter. If I move forward 35% of my pipeline, roughly $250,000, I can make my quarter number and get to about 70% for the year. Now I need to identify which accounts and opportunities to mine. I review the heat map again and select the boxes in the chart between Gold Discovery and Champion in the month of September. Then I scroll down to the detail table and I'm presented with a list of accounts and opportunities in those stages. In the table, I see revenue projections in the grand total column. In addition, Marketo and DataHug scores signal interest levels and opportunities, enabling me to decide which opportunities to target for closure before the end of the quarter. I sort opportunities by grand total and notice Tintouch has a number of opportunities listed with the September close date. The corresponding Marketo and DataHug scores indicate I have a decent relationship with Tintouch and they have a very high interest in my products. When I select Tintouch, I see there are four opportunities in total representing $100,000 in revenue. If I can close these deals, this shrinks my forecast cap by 50%. From the table, I click on the SFDC account link and I'm taken to Tintouch's account page within Salesforce.com. In 2016, Tintouch has made a couple of purchases earlier in the year, and based on the current interest level, it appears they are in the market for more. One item of interest is that Tintouch has not purchased any consulting or education. One of the opportunities I have open is for education services, but when I contact the customer, I will bring up how our consulting services organization could help them deliver solutions to market faster. From here, I can dig into an opportunity and see who at Tintouch has the most interest so I can contact them to help me complete the sale. If additional research is required, I can click on the ClickSense tab inside of Salesforce.com, which brings me to the full ClickSense client experience where I have access to many self-service features and Click's unique associative AI-driven capabilities. I will cover these and more in part three of this video.